So there have been a lot of links, and I mean a lot of links, to Dalvin Cook to the Miami Dolphins. So here in today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the Miami Dolphins, obviously with Dalvin Cook. The AI gave him number 34. Let's see if we can give him a different number. He was four with the Vikings. I forgot his previous number with the Vikings. I honestly don't remember what it was before he changed it to number four, but I sure, 34 works. We're going to keep that there. And honestly, if you guys get Dalvin Cook in real life, I'm going to be real with you Dolphins fans watching this. You have no excuse, and I mean zero excuse to complain if the Dolphins do not do not make it a deep playoff run. You have healthy Tua. I will admit, as much as a Tua hater as I am, healthy Tua was amazing last year before he's got his skull bashed in. Dalvin Cook, who is good when he's healthy and whenever he has a solid offensive line around him. You have Teron Armstead, Isaiah Wynn, that's developmental. He could be good, could be bad, but as of right now, he's not that great. Robert Hunt's a solid piece. Austin Jackson is a developmental piece. You got arguably the best wide receiver duo in the entire NFL. You got the speed team with Robbie Anderson, my bad, chosen Anderson, stupid name, by the way, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Cedric Wilson. Yes, you lost Mike Kosicki. You still have one of the best offensive tackles in the NFL. Getting Dalvin Cook a healthy Tua would make this offense insane. Also, you've got one of the best DBs in the NFL in the offseason. There is no excuse for this team as long as Tua stays healthy. I think this team, as much as a Tua hater as I am, I think this team will be good. I already know there's people disliking the video be like, how can you hate Tua? Nah, because the entire way during the draft, I always said Justin Herbert was going to be better than Tua. I don't think people can argue that either. Justin Herbert is better than Tua. If you put Justin Herbert with the weapons that Tua has, you'd be crazy, crazy, and no injuries as well. But anyways, this is not about Justin Herbert. I think Tua is a great quarterback whenever he's healthy, but the defense looks great. I'm going to start Emmanuel Ogba just because of his development traits, right? Quan Davis, ugh, the D, D line really isn't that good. How much does Zach weigh? He almost weighs 300 pounds. Yeah, I'm putting him at defensive tackle. 6'6, 300 pounds almost. Yes, sir. Three pounds down from that. He's definitely going to move inside as Emmanuel Ogba is going to be on the outside here. Probably going to move Jalen Phillips down later. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the Bradley Chubb trade. Trading away a first round pick for Bradley Chubb, he's been injured most of his career. A first, like, he's good when he's on the field, but. I would much rather trade away a first round pick for someone like Chase Young, who's on the trade block now. Um, yeah, it's I don't I don't really understand that trade, but for me personally, I would trade away like a second, maybe at most, tip top most for Bradley Chubb. But realistically, I would trade like a third and a fifth. But anyways, apart from that, this is what we got for the team. Xavier Howard is aging. We got Cam Smith as well, who's going to start over Nick Needham. Deshaun Elliott is great when he's healthy. But as a Ravens fan, I can tell you. That doesn't happen very often. He doesn't really play a full season. And uh, offensively, yeah, again, best receiver duo in the entire NFL. Some people say it's the Eagles or Bengals. Me personally, probably the Dolphins. Anyways, let's move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are four and three, top of the division. Patriots are struggling, kind of like in real life. Jets being two and five is kind of crazy. Scouting national focus. I would say defensive tackle is a need for this team. Raekwon Davis isn't going to get it done. I don't know if Zach is going to be good enough as a starting def defensive tackle number one at the age of like 27 with normal dev. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep the normal national, not national scouting focus, normal auto-generated rookies. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see who we got. Deshaun Elliott, I do want back because there's no injury in this. Here he signs. Chosen Anderson. No. Isaiah Wynn. We only have 680000 to spend, and I don't... Like, in real life, Isaiah Wynn isn't that good, but in Madden, he's 26 years old. He's star dev, 78. That's a solid piece in Madden. Andrew Van Ginkle don't need, and I, I would like Nick Needham. He would be good depth, but I don't think we'll keep him. Jake Bailey, I just can't afford to pay. Miles Gaskin, I don't know what's up with your profile picture. That's been a glitch lately. I don't know anything else here, but anyways, guys, apart from that, let's move in to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 11 and 6, second in the division, coming off a loss to the Jets. That loss would have gave us the home field advantage and uh, dang, dude, that would have put us at top of the division. Unfortunate, but hey, I can kind of see that happening in real life. Bills and Dolphins will have to fight for this division. Maybe Jets with Aaron Rodgers too. Tua actually did pretty good. I didn't even get to see the offense. I don't even think it was that good. I'm in, I'm in the Dallas offenses, but really 26th offense for being 11 and 6 and... 
20, I don't okay. I don't know how we made the playoffs. Sure, 4,200 yards, 39 touchdowns, 11 receptions, 102 pass rating. That's a pretty good season. Uh, Devin Cook, 4.2 per carry, 10 touchdowns. I'd expect more from an X factor, but in real life, I would feel like that'd be more realistic. 1,200 yards. Really, Robbie Anderson is our top receiver. Tyreek Hill with 12 touchdowns, though. Looking at it defensively, Jerome Baker, 124 tackles, tackles for a loss, 23 for Christian Wilkins, sacks 13 for Christian Wilkins, 10 and a half for Zach. I don't know how you say that last name. Is it Sealer or Siler? Whatever. Zach is going to be his name. 14 tackles for a loss, 10 and a half sacks, and receptions is four for Jalen Ramsey. Safety, zero defensive touchdowns is one for Javon Holland and one for Brandon Jones. Brandon Jones is probably going to have to move to defensive back or outside linebacker. Let's see what we got against our division rivals, the Buffalo Bills, in the wild card round. And we beat them 38 to 14 here to face the 12 and 5 Jacksonville Jaguars. They're an 82 overall. We're an 87 overall, but at the same time, pretty sure their overall is down because of the rest of their team. But Trevor Lawrence is good. 21 to 14. Here we are against the Pittsburgh Steelers in the conference championship year one with Dalvin Cook. Let's move into it. Here we are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 3-0 start for the... Okay, uh, I was about to say for the Dolphins. 13-0 start for the Steelers. 7 to 13, 7 to 20. Okay, 14-20. Come on. Okay, 14 20 at halftime. Still, we're keeping up a little bit. 14 23, 17 23. Come on. There we go. 24 23. First lead of the game by one point. Let's go. Lock it up. Oh, 24 31. 31 31. Overtime. What? What happened? I don't, I don't know. How, okay, it looks like the Steelers won. What? That was crazy game. Crazy game. Really rough start. They won from a safety. You've got to be kidding. That's horrible luck. Tua still had a great game, I think, other than. Let's see his these interceptions really 106 pass rating i mean pickett still had a good game 100 pass rating wow rushing Najee was going to 3.4 per carry for cook one touchdown though and Najee was still doing pretty solid that's just unfortunate let's move into the offseason and the steelers beat the niners in the super bowl this was actually supposed to be a week one matchup in the 2023 nfl season so interesting steelers beat the niners 17 to 9 <laughs> the niners only put up nine points kenny pickett wins the super bowl mvp joe burrow wins the league mvp there are no awards here for your miami dolphins so let's see the team upgrades to see if there is any maybe to a superstar potentially no uh, anyone else? Devon A. Chain, uh, star. Tyler Croft, how old are you? Pretty old, right? 30, yeah. Uh, so that star dev really means nothing. Defensively, okay. Zach gets star dev. That's nice to see. How old are you? I thought you, yeah. Uh, he came out of Ferris State. What is Ferris State? I don't know what that is, but hey, he has star dev now. Jalen Ramsey is a 99. Javon Holland is a superstar. Got good depth here at linebacker. I would just like someone with at least star dev. Anyways, let's move into the re-signings. Here we are in the AFC East. Aaron Rodgers retires on the Jets after one year. He just said, nah, after one year. Now they don't have a first round pick to even draft the quarterback. Robbie Anderson, no. Isaiah, went. here's the thing, guys. We're just going to say in Madden, he developed, sure. Because I need a solidified right tackle. He has start of, he's young. He's almost an 80 overall. In Madden, it's a different situation, okay? Robbie Anderson, no. I know you led our team in receiving yards, I'm not giving you three years. Yeah, go walk. Don't need Andrew Van Ginkle. Jake Bailey is not a bad pickup. I'll do five years since he wants to be here. Here he signs. Nick Needham, I want as depth. Five years, I'll take him as depth. Here he signs because Xavier Howard is getting old. Miles Gaskin, cool and walk. I don't want anyone else here, and I only have 7.2 million to spend. So anyways, let's move in to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up a middle linebacker who unfortunately has normal dev, which was not the plan. I wanted a middle linebacker with the dev because he has A power moves, A pursuit, I don't care about the stamina, B tackle, good overall good athleticism. Unfortunate that he's not star dev or better, but I'm still going to make him the starter. Hopefully he does get star dev or better. That'd be uh, very good. And with my other pick, I'm picking up LaMarcus Corral, Corral or Corral? Uh, Carole, sure. Uh, out of Michigan State, six foot six, three oh six, almost as big as Zach, and ninety two strength, hidden development, a play rec, a tackle, B stamina, B awareness. He looks pretty good. And in the second round, with I have another second round pick for some reason. I don't know where I got it from, but middle linebacker with hidden dev this time out of Oklahoma State. He's going to be the starter. I'm going to move the other middle linebacker to uh, outside linebacker. A is across the board. He looks pretty good. And in the third round, I'm picking up left guard Alex Garfield, who I'm going to move inside to center out of Stanford. Six foot three, three fourteen, hidden development, eighty five strength. Seems pretty good for a third round pick. Here we are after the draft, and it looks like Garfield is going to be over Austin Jackson here. 
Connor Williams, how much is his contract? I'm pretty sure I traded him last time. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna be here forever. I'll keep him as the starter for now. Garfield is gonna start at left guard. Smythe, Nichols, I got him in the fourth round. He's already 70, so I'm gonna start him. The rest of the team looks pretty good. Cedric Wilson, I don't need. Where is Dalvin Cook? What happened to Dalvin Cook? Okay, I'm gonna have to go on a mission. For some reason, it just, it didn't even give me the option to re-sign him. Hold up, let me go find this boy. Okay, bingo, bingo, bongo. We got uh, Dalvin Cook back on the team. Good stuff. I have to cut one player now that I added him. For some reason, he was on the Panthers. I didn't even get the opportunity to even re-sign him. They were just like, nah, you don't get him unless I completely missed him, which I doubt. He was an X factor. But what do we got? Alec I forgot about Devon A. Chain. He's, he's probably going to be pretty good in real life. Nichols is going to be the starter. Offense looks really good. 86 overall team. Sinclair is going to be the starter. I'm going to make this guy, Tef Telfer, out of Alabama, my left outside linebacker. And believe it or not, I'm going to start him over Bradley Chubb. I don't want Bradley Chubb there, especially since we're in a different scheme that does not really necessarily support Bradley Chubb. So he's going to be a 76 there. Okay, Carroll is a 77. That's great to see. And he also plays defensive end Cam Smith. I'm going to move up as well. Jalen Phillips can stay on the outside. Yeah, really like what we got. Baker Long. I don't want Brandon Jones to be my sub linebacker. Yeah, I don't like that. But I'm going to start probably the other linebacker at my depth chart, my uh, first round pick. So that way he at least does get start of sub linebacker. Here we are at week eight. As we are four and three, second division, pa Patriots had a huge bounce back on the year. They must have drafted a baller QB in the first round. Let's see what we got. Uh, do I want to do tight end? I do not know. The O-line is fine with Connor Williams. Linebacker's fine. Maybe defensive end to replace Emmanuel Ogba and Bradley Chubb because they're both old and Madden. Let's be real here. Emmanuel Ogba's great. Bradley Chubb is good whenever he's not injured. But coming off a loss to the Chiefs, Christian Wilkins, I want back for sure. Let's give him player friendly. He resigns. I have 4.6 million in cap room. Somebody's got to go. Tua, I can't pay him. I, I can't pay him. Somebody, I gotta I gotta start taking cap dumps right now. Zach, I do want back because he's pretty good overall, even though he is 27. Robert Hunt, I want. Don't need the fullback. It's unfortunate. Okay, there's gotta be some, there's gotta be something we gotta do because I need Tua on the team. I need team salaries. Bradley Chubb is probably gonna be up there, so I'm probably gonna dump him completely. Savings, what would we save? I'm not dumping Tyreek. Bradley Chubb, we would save... 19 million if we dropped him penalty would be 14 it would still save us long term jerome baker would say uh the penalty wouldn't really help us now Dalvin cook would help us but he's part of the rebuild i guess i gotta get rid of connor williams and jason sanders being paid big time over jalen waddle really i know he's on a rookie contract but seriously okay i need to drop some players completely i need to drop I need to drop Bradley Chubb and Connor Williams. So I'm now trading away Connor Williams and Bradley Chubb due to the cap problem. I need to go back. I'm trading away Connor Williams and Bradley Chubb to the Commanders for a, for a second round pick this year and a second round this pick next year. So I feel like that's a little bit fair. Kind of, not really, because Bradley Chubb we trade away a first round pick for. But um, I'm going to move Austin Jackson. Austin Jackson can stay at left guard. I'm going to move Garfield, who has star dev, into center. That way, we have a replacement for Connor Williams. I just can't afford to pay Connor Williams his penalty. And no, his savings would help us a lot if we traded him away. Garfield moves down to a 75. O-line's fine. I need to get to a back, even if I have to tag him. Something has to change with this. Jalen Phillips. Dang, bro. It's just unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. But anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to move in to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 9-8, and eight, second in the division. The Bills take it again. I'm just glad we made the playoffs here to face the 83 overall Denver Broncos. Stats and awards, let's see what we got. Tua, not good. Okay, 17th best offense, 12th best defense, 4,400 yards. To, that's terrible. 17 touchdowns to 24. No, 24 touchdowns to 17 interceptions is a horrible ratio. 91 pass rating is not good. Dalvin Cook, huge improvement. Uh, less carries by far, but 1,100 yards, 5.2 per carry, 14 touchdowns. Also, A-Chain had 14 touchdowns. That's sick. Receiving-wise, Cedric Wilson, 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns. It's He's not that good. It's just the slot position gets so many targets. Tyreek Hill, three touchdowns, 1,000 yards. 
our tight end doing pretty good Nichols Jalen Waddle really not getting that much even though he should get way more defensively Angelo Telfer the rookie 111 tackles tackles for a loss 20 for Zach sacks 10 and a half for Zach eight and a half for Christian Wilkins four interceptions for Jalen Ramsey safeties one for Zach a defensive touchdown zero Zach is tearing it up at defensive tackle I'm glad I moved him there Let's see what we got against the 12 and 5 Denver Broncos to see if we can move on to the divisional round for the second year we do not 26 to 20 seems like our passing game is our problem i may have to change the scheme on that let's move into the offseason and the broncos beat the packers in the super bowl russell wilson was the super bowl mvp that was unexpected lamar jackson wins the league mvp there are no awards here for the miami dolphins but let's see what we got for the team upgrades i have no idea how tua did so so bad but i'm going to change into philadelphia's offense just because they have more of a pass heavy offense than dallas dallas still has a good offense but um we're going to try and get Tua more involved here with his great duo i don't know what he's not doing right defensively Ooh, okay that linebacker has started out. that's exactly what i wanted from him thankfully he got that jerome baker david long i don't need zach it's superstar dad that's awesome to see but i may not be able to pay him which is the bad part kim smith is fine christian wilkins this guy only has start of as well corral or corral whatever let's move into the re-signings in the afc east nobody retires but let's see what we have for the re-signings i may have to do a tag here with zach I need Tua back and his interest has gone down too, which does not help. I want Zach back. I would have 27 million once I re-signed him. Tua, I would only have 5 million left once I re-signed him. So we're gonna dump Zach on his contract. We're gonna do that. He wants to test free agency, that's fine. Can we finesse Robert Hunt and Tua? Would that be a possibility in any realm? I think it might be, but I'm not gonna risk it. We're gonna give Tua player friendly so I know he re-signs. What? I don't have the cap. What are you talking about? Do this. Lower his salary just a little bit. What? I do have the salary cap. I can assure you I have the salary cap. <laughs> what? Six years. We're going to do that and then increase his bonus. How about that? Does that work? I think free agency will last me in the long run. Now we can't have either, dude. Oh, this is so frustrating. I'm going to have to let Zach go. I can't let my franchise QB go. That's so unfortunate. The tackle for a loss and sack leader has to walk because... Two is being picky with his contract. Oh, so that means I'm going to have to re-sign. I'll re-sign Robert Hunt. He wants to be here, so it won't be that bad. He re-signs. I'm not going to be re-signed a fullback. David Long, I don't need. I don't need you either. I'm going to tag Tua. That's so unfortunate. Zach's going to have to walk. I'm going to have to draft a new defensive tackle. Anyways, let's move into the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up a defensive tackle, BJ Dale out of West Virginia. Only normal dev sucks, but six foot three, 300 pounds, 92 strength is great. He has A's across the board. He does look pretty good. Okay, Tua, so since you decided it would be a great idea to hog all the money on the team and just completely rob your teammate and our superstar defensive lineman of his money, you now have to deal with the worst defense and you can't really have anyone to back you up. Also, I don't have Austin Jackson anymore. I just realized that. That is quite unfortunate for me, but uh, we're not going to worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. We still have a good offensive line, uh, idealistically speaking, that Isaiah Wynn did uh, improve. Dale, not that bad either. 74 overall without the boost. I don't even have Raekwon Davis anymore. I don't have depth at the D-line like I would like, but I have a lot of depth at DB, which is nice. So hopefully that will help us. And I do have depth at linebacker. That's nice to see as well. Manuel Ogba is doing good. So anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to move in to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark, guys. We are three and four, third in the division. What is what is wrong with our passing game, bro? I don't understand. I truly don't understand why this team is doing so bad for no reason. It is beyond frustrating. We're going to do run and shoot air raid sure air raid let's do that four six defense philadelphia playbook kansas city defense always comes through for me and it usually always does so honestly our defense is pretty good to especially our secondary do i just need godly defensive linemen which i could have had but no two we wanted extra money um man i yeah i guess i will go defensive end again and get more depth at defensive end because i do need depth at defensive tackle now to what uh, you have all the pieces you need just stop making excuses you have the best wide receiver duo in the NFL. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pay your best wide receiver duo because you're so greedy, but I got him. Don't worry. Javon Holland, he needs to come back on a five-year deal for sure. He resigns. 
Tua has even less interest now. I'm so excited to re-sign him. Jalen Phillips, I might not even be able to re-sign. Jerome Baker, I don't I don't quite know yet, bud. We're gonna 34. I'm gonna have to sign Tua before I do anything. I'm gonna have to sign Tua to his extremely large contract. Finally, he re-signs. Now I have no money. Sorry, Jalen Phillips, Jerome Baker, Cedric Wilson, I didn't even want you back. Like, we're mainly going to be losing Jalen Phillips here. Jerome Baker, I kind of already has his replacement. Cedric Wilson, I don't necessarily need. But paying to a lost us plenty of players. It's so bad. Let's move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs, coming off a win to the New England Patriots. 11 and 6 top division. Yeah, change the schemes. I, I know what's up now. Air Raid is where it's at. And, okay, our passing game is 25th now. I, I Okay. Sure, but <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to do. Whatever. But we're eleven and six. Stop the division. That's what matters. Here we are to face the ten and seven Buffalo Bills in year three. Tua, pass rating is still not what I want it to be. Twenty fifth offense. How? Eleventh defense. Forty two hundred yards. Thirty three touchdowns. Twelve interceptions. Not a horrible ratio. Ninety nine pass rating needs to go up. Cook sixteen touchdowns. Four point six per carry. Thirteen hundred yards. At least he's doing well. Tyreek eleven hundred yards. Only five touchdowns though. Cedric Wilson. Why is Jalen Waddle doing nothing? Wide receiver twos do nothing in Madden. EA fix it in Madden twenty four. Jerome Baker one hundred thirty four tackles. Angelo with one hundred and ten and Ramsey with one hundred and three is interesting. Tackles for a loss twenty for Emmanuel Ogba. Sacks twelve for Christian Wilkins. Eight for Emmanuel Ogba. And Telfer with six. Interesting. Lamarcus Carroll with five and a half. Interceptions, four for Xavier Howard. I honestly forgot about him. Safeties, one for Christian Wilkins. Zero defensive touchdowns. But anyways, let's see what we got here against the Buffalo Bills, our division rivals, who are 10-7, and seven, third in the division, as the Jets are 10-7, and seven, second in the division. They picked up pretty quickly. Here to face the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are ended our run in year one in the divisional round. Can we beat them to move on to the conference championship we do. 24 to 19 here to face the 14 and 3 Kansas City Chiefs. We're still one overall higher than them, so this is definitely a doable win for us. It all depends on Tua. Let's move into it. Here we are against the Kansas City Chiefs in the conference championship. 7 nothing start. That's a good way to start off. 7-7, they respond. 14-7. Come on. 14-14. They're responding to every score we make. Yeah, 21-21. That's gonna be hard to keep up with. 21-21 at halftime. They start with the ball, don't get anything. We don't get anything either. They strike first in the second half. 28-24. Come on. Eight seconds. I got to play this. Oh, no. We got the ball. With eight seconds? Fire. Okay. Yeah, no. That's that's wraps. I thought they had the ball with eight seconds left. 28-24 as we beat the Chiefs. That felt a lot quicker. I don't know why. It felt like the game went by really quickly. But, hey, I'm not complaining. Let's move on to the Super Bowl. Here we are against the Carolina Panthers as they are 10 and 7, 85 overall. We're in 90 overall. So we're five overalls higher than them. Looking at the team, no upgrades on offense. Defensively, Xavier and Howard gets X Factor and Cam Smith gets Superstar. That's nice to see. Dale does not get an upgrade. Dale, what, a, what an unusual name, Dale. Anyways, apart from that, let's move in to the Super Bowl. Here we are against the Carolina Panthers. 7 0 start for the Panthers, 3 7, 3 10. 6 to 10, 6 to 17. We got to score a touchdown. 13, 17. That's exactly what we needed. We didn't score in the red zone there. I don't know how. 24 to 13, 21 to 24. Got that two point conversion. 24, 24. Tied it up. 31, 24. Taking our first lead to 31, 31, 38, 31 in overtime. And we win. 38 31 in overtime against the Carolina Panthers. And that will be a successful rebuild for your Miami Dolphins and Dalvin Cook with the Miami Dolphins. Let's see who your Super Bowl MVP is. Your Super Bowl MVP is Tua. League MVP is Joe Burrow for the third time in a row. No other awards here for that Miami Dolphins. And we've already seen the team upgrade. So let's move into the re signings. In the AFC East, Lawrence Guy, CJ Mosley, and Micah Hyde all retire. All three pretty good players at one point. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we got. Jalen Phillips. I'm negative 11 million. We're going to lose Jalen Phillips, Jerome Baker, and Cedric Wilson. So let's just move into the draft. In the first round, we're picking up an absolute speed demon in the slot. 5'10", 187 out of Alabama. Randy Dunlap, 99 speed, 93 acceleration to pair with the speed of Jalen Waddle, who is also from Alabama. And we got Tyreek Hill as well. Speed demons on this team. Our new slot replacement for Cedric Wilson. And in the second round, we're picking up right outside linebacker to replace Jalen Phillips, Aaron Robertson out of a UCF, six foot two 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 as his weight, hidden dev, great athleticism, A awareness, B catching, B hit power, pass coverage archetype. 
Now this is the team moving into the fourth and final season. Dalvin Cook is up to a 98 overall. Dunlap is a 75 overall star dev or better. Robertson is a 71. I got this guy also in the second round with the commander second round pick. He's 74, but normal dev. We're looking pretty good. I like the team that we got. <coughs> My bad. Cam Smith is only up to a 79. That's fine. He has superstar dev. Team looks pretty good. Wish they got more depth at defensive line. I always keep forgetting that and to replace my left guard. But anyways, fourth and final season. Let's move into the playoffs. You were in the playoffs going 8-9, and nine, bottom of the division. Yeah, that's Madden for you. You win the Super Bowl one year and then you just fall off the next year, even though you basically have the same team. The only person I lost was Jalen Phillips, and he never even had double-digit sacks throughout the entire rebuild. I'm doing air raid with Philadelphia's playbook, but my rushing game is fifth and my passing game is 27th with Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill, and a speed demon at the slot, and Tua being a 90-plus overall with a good offensive line. Thank you, EA, for your devoted gameplay every year. I'm so excited to buy the game just so that way I can build a team that misses the playoffs at eight and nine anyways let's see what we got for the stats and awards Tua sucked 20th best offense and the defense is 20th okay 4,000 yards, 27 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 98 pass rating isn't good. Dalvin Cook, 14 touchdowns, 5.7 per carry, almost 1,500 yards, a great Tyreek, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, Dunlap doing pretty good for his rookie year, and Jalen Waddle proceeds to never even pass 1,000 yards in simulation. Thank you, EA. <laughs> Defensively, Angelo with uh, 111 tackles, same thing with uh, Jonathan Amaya. I don't even know who that is. Tackles for a loss, 17 for Corral or Corral. 10 and a half sacks for Emmanuel Agua, 9 for Christian Wilkins. Interceptions is 4 for... Who is this guy? <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. Safeties is 0. Defensive touchdowns is 0. But anyways, guys, apart from that, thank you guys all for watching. This was a successful rebuild because Dalvin Cook did win a Super Bowl with the Miami Dolphins. But uh, unfortunate how Tua did basically nothing with Tua and Jalen Waddle. Not Tua, I mean Tyreek and Jalen Waddle and Dunlap was pretty good prospect as well but anyways guys apart from that once again i thank you guys all for watching let me know which team you want me to rebuild next maybe i'll do chase young with the steelers because there is rumors about him but apart from that guys i'll see you guys all in the next one